Oh yes. <laughs> the Frankenstein is alive. And just as simple minds said on their song, it is alive and kicking. You have no idea how anxious I was to try it on the road. And now I can confirm it to you. It just became a superb machine. You are probably asking yourself, how the hell is he riding without a fuel tank? Well, this is a secret of my still secret mechanic. But considering my CX project is almost finished, I think it is time to reveal it. Not only who he is, but how to ride a motorcycle with invisible gasoline. Welcome to Racer TV. So, let's make a summary about what happened since episode number 3. Technically, almost everything is ready to be assembled. The hardest part was the waiting period during August. Because everyone was on holidays and the project got stuck with nothing to do. As you see, now everything is shining like it was supposed to. Fortunately, my secret mechanic didn't let me down. He really did a fantastic job. Especially with this extension of the gear lever. Which was one of the challenges of the project. And to simplify things. He also created this small structure for the footrests, which is screwed on the original threads of the frame. But now. I think it's time to reveal who he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the identity of my secret mechanic is Lionel Ribeiro, owner of Oficina das Motors, located in Portugal. You probably remember him from the video about this beautiful Ducati 350 by Capello's Garage. And why did I have to keep his identity a secret? because I wanted to avoid undesirable public visits to his garage. But let me tell you a curious story about how I met him. Do you know that kind of situation that seems to be destined to happen no matter what? Well, meeting Lionel is one of those situations. Nine years ago, I found an advertisement on the internet, about a selling of a BMW K1. The K1 was in pretty good condition, with a new paint job, and a complete full service on the BMW dealer. And so I bought it. In 2016, I had met Lionel and knew no Capello, when I was about to shoot some video clips with the Ducati 350. And here is what I found on that day. Lionel. Is the brother of my BMW's K1 previous owner. And the most curious. He was the mechanic who made most of the restoration work. This discovery. Was like a sign of destiny. I also could not believe. That his workshop was located less than 10 minutes from where I live. What was the probability of that happening? Lionel had to be the right man, I was looking for my cafe racer project. And he really was. His technical skills, couldn't be better. Just to give you an idea. He asked me if I wanted a 180 tire, on the rear of the CX. I thought he was joking. 
but it seems that with some structural changes on the swing arm, he can make it happen. And this my friends, is something never done. Speaking of that, where did Lionel get the invisible gasoline for my Honda? I think ingenuity is the right word. And also some improvisation. Considering the fuel tank wasn't finished, this was the only way to testing the engine and brakes. Did it go well? It might be better for you to see. As you heard, everything is simply spectacular. The engine rumble. The exhaust sound note. The handling. The brakes. Everything is way better than I expected. As you may understand, I cannot show you everything. Because I am saving some details for the final video. But don't worry, because next week, I am going to present the final project. And this time, I really mean next week. It is very likely that my Honda CX is already finished, on the day of the publication of this video. Because next Sunday, I am going to have the pleasure, of taking it, to the distinguished gentleman's ride. For those who never heard about it, it is a global custom motorcycle event, which will help raise funds for prostate cancer research, and men's mental health. For more information, I recommend you click the link on the video description. I have to say, that my CX project, was really a huge challenge. But I also had very good moments of joy. Because Lionel, has an excellent sense of humor. He is always making jokes, on the most unexpected moments. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week. <laughs>